I was influenced to buy things. And I know we are all influenced to buy things all the time from videos on the internet. However, I do it a lot, probably more than the average person. Online advertising works. I have been influenced to buy a lot of different things from the internet and some of them from Amazon, some of them from other places, but I wanted to tell you guys today if I think that they are worth your money, where I saw them and what I think. So that's what today's video is gonna be and I'm just gonna hop into it. So this is a weird one. This is a weird one, okay? It's pasta, but not any pasta. It's called Malfadine Italian Pasta pasta, y'all. Do you see that thing? Do you see it? That right there, my friends, is like miniature lasagna pasta noodles. You know, normal pasta noodles that are lasagna, they're this wide and they have the crinkly edges. These crinkly edges, but small. The way they hold sauce, Okay, my sister saw these on TikTok. So I was influenced from my sister who was influenced from TikTok. She saw them and was like, Christy, we have to get them. So we decided to have a pasta bar night at my house. It was so fun. We had three different types of pasta, which honestly, we all just kind of wanted to eat this one. So that tells you it's really, really good. We did an Alfredo sauce and a red sauce. We had crostini bread and garlic breads and different toppings. It was so fun. Highly recommend having a pasta bar. But this pasta is so stinking good, you guys. It is divine. I highly recommend it. So of course, everything that I have talked about in this video, I will link it in the description of this video. Most likely, they, if they are affiliate links, they will have a star in front of them. Affiliate link means that I might make a small commission off of that purchase. It is not that I am affiliated with the company or anything like that. It's just like Amazon affiliate, you know. So anyway, uh, I will post those links down in the description though. And if you guys, if you guys are looking for anything that I mentioned, that's gonna be down there, but do these noodles highly recommend. Next are these overalls that I got. Now these ones, I cannot remember where I saw them from. Heaven help me, I cannot remember. Somebody really cute online. God, I cannot remember, but they are these like linen overalls. And there are these overall shorts. They're from the brand Yuku, Y-E-O-K-O-U, Yuko. And they come in so many different colors and I, freaking love these. I have them maybe in like five different colors. I think my favorite that I have is probably khaki. This is what they look like. And oh, I just love them so much. I wear them all the time. They are one of my like go-to stable pieces that I wear. They are very comfortable. I have size XXL, I believe. I wanted these to flow nicely on the body and they really do. I'm really, really self-conscious about like my midsection. Go figure. And these are really comfortable. They hang really nicely. I don't feel uncomfortable in them at all. And I've been asked so many Many times like where do you get that where did you get that outfit super cute every time I wear them I wear it with honestly I just I literally just copied this girl's outfit and it's so cute on so highly recommend these although I will say that I did have one pair where um, this little thing but even when I've had these break on overalls in the past you can replace them super easily I actually just bought a kit of these on Amazon and you can fix your overalls in like two seconds it, and I've done it with a ton of my different pairs because they fall out all the time. They're kind of made crappily. A lot of overalls are made crappily. And I'm not gonna say these are like the highest quality overalls I've ever made, but they're nice and they're pretty comfy. Speaking of comfy, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, which is Brooklinen. So I'm going to hop over and show you guys my Brooklinen sheets that I recently got and I love them. And I will be back to talk to you guys about the rest of the products that I have been absolutely loving. Today's video is sponsored by Brooklinen. I have worked with them a few times in the past and I just love them so much. If you don't know who they are, they sell high quality sheets that are long lasting and comfortable, so comfortable. This is the organic cotton hardcore sheet bundle and this is in the color Portobello and I Love it. It's like this really soft sort of vintage pinky purple. It's so lovely. Instead of buying individual items, you guys can save 25% by purchasing them in a hardcore bundle, which includes a core sheet set, extra pillowcases, and a duvet cover. I've been sleeping in multiple Brooklinen sheets for years. They're so comfortable. They wash beautifully. They're just lovely. I also love the linen ones. Those are one of my favorites. These sheets have 300 thread count made from 100% organic long staple cotton. They are super soft and breathable, and they're perfect for most sleepers. Brooklinen's new organic bedding is got certified organic cotton, meaning the materials are grown organically and meet environmental and socially responsible standards. If you want to stock up on bedding or bath essentials for 2023, you guys can use the link in the description. Brooklyn is giving my viewers $20 off of an order, $100 or more using my code rawbeautychristy at checkout. Thank you so much again to Brooklyn for sponsoring the beginning portion of today's video and for continuing to partner with me over the years. I have a toddler, almost three years old, and he is quite literally obsessed with lollipops. There is something in this child's DNA that makes him like, he's lollipop crazy. Why? 
I cannot tell you. I don't know what it is. I don't know why he's so obsessed. I think he saw them on a show one time and was like, and that was it for him. I made a TikTok about this and I, 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 I still stand by this and I couldn't believe it. So there was a day that my dad brought over two Tootsie Pops, like regular old orange Tootsie Pops. You, you, nobody tells grandpas no. So he had two Tootsie Pops. And that same day we had had a bag of M&Ms in the house and I ate a few and he ate a few. And it was like instantaneous behavior change. And I couldn't even believe it. And I was like, what is going on? And I thought maybe it was just the sugar in general. So I thought, well, let me look at the ingredients, see if there's anything. And I did notice both had a ton of food dyes in them. And I was like, oh my God, I had seen before, like food dyes are not very good. They can cause behavioral changes and stuff like that. And I was like, no way, there's no way. So then we tested the theory by giving it a few days, letting it get out of his system, letting him eat sugary things in those others to see, is it the sugar? Wasn't the sugar. Try it again another time with a food dye. Same behavioral changes. I'm talking like, it seemed like outbursts, extra crying, really emotional, angry, frustrated. It was just like so much change. I was, I was really shocked. And so I was like, holy shit, dude, could it be the food dye? And I am convinced that it was because it was so shocking. And that was the only thing that was in abundance that day. And I posted about this on TikTok and my comments were literally flooded with people saying that the same thing happens to their child or that it, food dyes cause their autoimmune issues to flare up or food dyes send them into a fibromyalgia attack or something like that. Like absolutely insane to think that something like a food dye could cause those problems. So I went on the hunt for some lollipops that did not have food dye and I found them. And this is what they are. Yum Earth Pops. And I will read them to you. I've got my phone here. Yum Earth Organic Vitamin C Lollipop Variety Variety Pack. Fruit flavored, natural hard candy suckers. Gluten-free lollipops for kids. Allergy friendly, non-GMO, vegan, no artificial flavors or dyes. So they are really what they say they are. There are no food dyes, no high fructose corn syrup. Colored with organic concentrate of carrot, apple, black currant, radish, and turmeric. So there are no food dyes in these and my son doesn't have any reaction at all to it. He seems like completely normal if he has one. Um, we obviously try, don't do them all the time. We have like a balance with food. I don't want him to think like some foods are bad and some foods are good. I'm trying to remain like kind of food neutral in our home. We also got food dye free M&Ms and I will tell you right now, so much better than M&Ms. Like I literally cannot even tell you. So they are called Unreal Milk Chocolate Gems. Holy moly when I tell you, M&Ms take them or leave them. They're all right, whatever. These, the flavor of these, un be leaveable and these are freaking good. They're pretty good ingredients too. Colored with turmeric, beet juice, spirulina extract, and red radish juice. So like they're really, 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 really minimal and not like all that really harsh ingredients. Obviously it's, they're not great for you, but at the end of the day, like if you're going to do a candy and you want to do something that is uh, food dye free, these are, they're colored by veggies, fair trade ingredients, no soy ingredients, no sugar alcohols, nothing artificial, unreal taste. Unreal taste is actually so legit. You guys, they taste, okay. You know, the, um, Cadbury mini eggs, those, that's what these taste like the chocolate inside of there. Like divine. I could eat a whole bag in one setting. I don't, but I could. Something that I bought that I saw somebody talk about that is not good in my opinion is this air stick cradle glass mount phone holder reusable thing, glass mirrors, windows. So basically it's like a phone holder. It looks like this. You set your phone on it and it like mounts to the glass or whatever. The person that I saw talk about it, it was like, you can mount it right to your walls. Uh, I tried. Phone did come crashing to the ground. Granted, this does say mount to glass. It almost ripped my window off. It almost took my window off when I had to pull it off. Like getting it off of the window was, I wouldn't recommend this. I mean, it, it's its a good idea. I think it has a good potential. I can see where this would work. It does really stick to glass so well, but pulling it off was like near impossible. And like, it was absolutely insane to pull off. And again, the person that was advertising it was like, you can stick it to the window. You can stick it to your wall. You can stick it to really textured surfaces too. And I was like, hell yeah. So I stuck it to my wall thinking, I trust you. No, it came crashing down with my phone in it. So, but I'm just gonna stick to my phone tripod, which I really, really like. I have not shown it on here, but this is another product I'm gonna talk about is the phone tripod. I don't have it in front of me, but I will show it to you like in a video if I can, or like at least a photo, but it's like thin. It looks like kind of a flashlight, almost like a large flashlight and click a button on the bottom. It completely folds out and then you can set your phone up on it. And if you can use it as a tripod. So if you do make content or anything like that, or if you need some kind of way to hold your phone, 
up somehow if you're doing like zoom calls or anything like that it's a great tripod i would highly recommend this one i've used i have three of them i have one for like out in the greenhouse for when we film videos i have one for inside we have one for up in my makeup room because they're just really useful and handy to have and i just love them so much and highly recommend them okay this is another one that i was recommended from somebody i wasn't recommended but somebody was talking about it it's called the micro fleur and basically it's a microwave flower press and if you're trying to press flowers or if you want to press flowers but you're finding that doing it in like a book or something isn't working because that was kind of my problem is that when I would press them in a book they would kind of get moldy or something and it would take like six months to dry whereas this like you do it in 10 second increments in the microwave at 70% power and you get like beautiful really really dry flower pressings and I want to make art with them and I want to like take and press flowers from our yard and garden and stuff like that so um I got this I saw it on I don't know some flower presser on Instagram somebody who like does this for a living and um it was so beautiful and it works really 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 well uh kind of expensive but if you plan on doing a lot of it then it's not too too bad and it's reusable over and over and over again obviously and um yeah it worked great this is actually one I bought for my sister and I'm just borrowing hers right now but she loves it and has gotten a freaking ton of use out of it already okay another product that I bought I think I saw Taylor Wynn talk about this and it is a timer top for medication bottles I am guilty of not remembering if I took my medication in the morning or not I have ones that I have to take on a specific time schedule I cannot tell you if I took it yet tonight today or not like I have no idea did I open it was that yesterday it was probably yesterday so I've been guilty of missing my medication many times or doubling up on a dose because I just literally can't remember if I took it or not. This cap has saved me. Basically, it's a cap that screws onto your medication bottle and it immediately starts counting down the time. As soon as you open it and screw it on, it counts down the minutes and seconds and minutes since you last opened the cap. And so every morning I need to see that it says 24 hours since I last took my medication. And it's so handy because you never have to guess again. Oh my God, did I take it? you can see when you last opened your medication cap. And it's been so helpful for both Zach and I on medications that we have to take. Like it's so, so helpful. And like the, of everything, it's the one thing that I would highly recommend to buy if you're just very forgetful like me. I finally broke down and bought an immersion blender. <laughs> I got the KitchenAid Immersion Blender. When I tell you the stick blender, you know, I have been, there's not one person that's recommended it. It's literally every person on the internet ever has recommended to get a freaking Immersion Blender and I have never gotten one. For why? Why have I never gotten one? I don't know, because I'm cheap. Well, I got one. I We've used it 50 times. I got it like two weeks ago. It is so handy. I freaking love it so much. I think the thing about it that is the nicest for me and the thing that I didn't expect is that it almost like suctions to the bottom, doesn't almost, totally suctions to the bottom of whatever you're immersion blending. So it doesn't splatter. Oh my God, I, I didn't know that. I thought that they were gonna be splattering everywhere and that they'd be a pain in the ass to use. No, quite the opposite. Literally so useful, just such a useful tool. And I got the KitchenAid one because I don't know, I just trust the name. I, I have a lot of KitchenAid appliances in my kitchen, love it so much. Recently bought the KitchenAid pasta attachments for my mixer as well, but it's been great. Cannot recommend it enough. It is such a good product. And I wish I had had it a long time ago because it would make so many different things in the kitchen just so much better. Okay, so I got these wooden spoons and now, <laughs> I know this is weird. There is a spatula in this wooden spoon set that I got from Amazon. And this spatula has me in a chokehold. It is everything. Okay, I'm just gonna show you the spatula. Wow, it's literally a wooden spatula. It's not that big of a deal, except it is a big deal. And you wanna know why it's a big deal? Because it almost cups like this, like it's flat in the center and then the sides like cup up like that. And when I was scooping pancakes with it the other day, you know, sometimes you have to like really get underneath it and like it folds under the other pancake and it's falling off. No. <laughs> Like it was the most satisfying flip I ever flipped in my entire freaking life. I'm telling you right now, it was so good, you guys. It's perfect. It's the best spatula ever. And it came in this set and they're really beautiful. They are teak wood cooking utensil set. And um, I absolutely love it. It says BPA free, non-toxic, durable. They're lovely. I love the shapes of them. They're all a really good set. I just enjoy them very much. And I've been putting off buying. There are some things I will buy like on a routine schedule. I hadn't bought cooking utensils since my wedding in 2010. Okay, and this, this harvest basket. I use it every single day. 
of my life. It is such a good basket. It's perfect for harvesting vegetables, eggs, fruits, leafy greens, whatever you need. It's so good for it. It's the perfect size. It just is so awesome. It's freaking expensive, you guys. It's $80 for a basket. Baskets are crazy expensive and I don't know why, but I will say that I get the absolute most use out of this for the lifestyle that we live here. It's so pretty outside right now. It's like sunny on the hill and then the sky is black because there's a storm cloud going over. It's kind of spooky. It's so, 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 so nice for the lifestyle that we lead. Taking that basket outside every day and I've just used it a million times have gotten its money worth for sure. But I really like that basket and I was influenced by all the adorable harvest people all over the internet freaking fro frolicking around in their gardens harvesting stuff. Cute. I want to be cute. Oh, this is a weird one. Okay, I cannot remember who I saw this from online. You guys, I'm influenced by a lot of different people. But this is called the Bure BR60 Instinct Insect Sting and Bite Healer. And this is what it looks like. It's basically like this little machine and you press it onto a fresh mosquito bite and you turn it on and it absolutely burns you down to your core. It sounds so bad and it quite literally hurts so bad. You kind of scream a little bit while you're doing it. it kind of feels good though. It's like a good hurt, you know? Ooh. I got a bug bite on my face right here. It, it was huge. It, I could feel it. I was like, ooh, I'm gonna itch it so bad. I felt the mosquito land. I didn't catch it in time. Somebody said something, I smacked it off, ran inside, grabbed this thing, held it on my bite, and I did it twice. I let it get super hot. It like burns it so hard and it went away. It went away. It didn't pop up to the surface. It was gone. No itch. If you don't catch it in time, it will keep going. It will turn into a regular bug bite. But if you catch it in time, right when you get bit, like who's just gonna carry it around, I guess? But it totally worked and it saved my face from getting a giant bug bite on it. So can say it definitely works. It hurts so bad. Would I recommend it? I don't know, just kind of for the fun. But I don't know, maybe other people don't like getting hurt for fun. It just, it hurts so good because it's on that itchy bug bite. And that is everything I think I have to mention that I've gotten recently. I can go through my entire Amazon list if you guys want to see a specific Amazon video because I will say that I had gone through a couple period, a couple month period there where I was like, I have to stop. I have to stop. Oh, speaking of good, these baseball hats from Walmart. I can't quit talking about them. They're so good. I will link them down below. I'll link everything that I talked about in this video down below. But dude, these hats from Walmart, they look like pre-faded. Do you see this? And just the shape of them and everything about them, they're so freaking cute. I bought four of them. They're five bucks a piece. I know. They're so good. I cannot, I cannot. Walmart's the new target, you guys. I know I've talked about this over and over and over again. Our Walmart had an upgrade, you guys. It's freaking good. I know I talked about this in the last video. I don't wanna be a Walmart stan. I think they're kind of an evil corporation many of the time, but the hats are cute. I don't know, I don't know. Everything is so uh, corrupt. <laughs> Cool. I don't know. I, I'm sure that if we knew the back end of everything, we wouldn't buy anything. Uh, anyway, all right. Well, I thank you guys so much for watching. And I thank you again so much to Brooklyn and for sponsoring the beginning portion of today's video and for continuing to partner with me over the years. Super comfy sheets. And don't forget, you guys can click the link down in the description and use code RawBeautyChristy at checkout to get $20 off of your order of $100 or more. And I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you at my next video. Bye. And you and I will be back to talk to Russ about gluten-free lollipops for kids, allergy, allergy. And I can hear him down there going, hi, I'm Auntie. Uh, I'm Auntie. Hi, I'm Auntie. He's being you. Didn't hear my kiddo being tickled downstairs. He's cracking up. <laughs>